Hi, my name is Daniel Valente and today I'll show you how to do a tank track in Blender 2.5. So, first of all, let's delete the devout cube. Go to the side view pressing 3, press 5, and then now you should add a curve. So, press Shift A, go to curve and bezier circle. Now zoom in a little bit. Rotate the curve on the Y axis, so press R, Y, 90 degrees, and press Enter. Now, go to the press tab to go to the edit, edit mode. Press A to deselect everything. Select those two vertices and scale them so it looks like it's a tank track. And there we go. Go back to the object mode and now let's add a plane so press shift a mesh plane let's scale it on the x axis a little bit there we go let's scale on the y axis and the there we go let's go to the edit mode press ctrl r and let's add some segments to it. Uh, I think it's enough. So go back to the object mode. Press 3 to go to the side view. Now s make sure that the plane is selected. Go to modifier, add modifier, and curve. And on the object field, choose the curve circle and there you go now press the negative y and you should see something like this so to fix the plane so it fits the whole curve let's scale it on the y axis so press s y mm, and there you go now let's apply the scale to the plane pressing ctrl a scale there we go so let's go back to the side view let's put the cursor a little bit up and let's add a cube that will be the piece of the track so shift a mesh cube now let's scale it on the z-axis scale it on the y-axis mm, there we go let's apply the scale to it Control, control A, scale. There you go. Let's parent the cube to the plane. So hold shift and right click on the plane. Control P, object. Let's go back to the side view, pressing 3. Make sure, press A to deselect everything. Select the plane. Go to object and under the duplication tab press faces and you should see something like this so to fix the orientation select the cube go to edit mode make sure that everything is selected press R to rotate Z on the Z axis 90 degrees and press enter press tab to go to the object mode and everything should be ok now so, if you move the, the if you move the plane, you see that the track rolls. And if you move the plane with the curve, you see that you can move the whole track. So, what you're gonna do now is add two bones to control the the track rolling and another one to move the track so let's go to the side view pressing 3 select the plane and let's snap the cursor to the center of the plane so let's make sure that the plane is selected press shift s and cursor to select it and there you go we can see the cursor here in the center so let's add the armature shift a armature and single bone 
now let's go to the edit mode pressing tab select the tip of the bone G press G to move hold the control so it snaps to the grid and move it to the bottom and there we go select the bone press shift shift D to duplicate Z to move on the Z axis and move a little bit up and there you go and now let's make the bottom bone child of the top one so select the top one press ctrl P and keep offset and it should be ready now let's go to the object mode and you should see the bones right there so let's move them go to the side view move them a little bit back a little bit down now press 1 to the front view move them to the side and there we go before we parent the track to the bones let's make sure that the, the pose mode is selected to the armature and now what she do is snap before we parent the track to the bones let's snap the piece to the center of the plane so it will be better to see so you go to the side view make sure that the piece is selected shift s and selection to cursor and there we go you should see something like this so now select the plane select the bottom bone press ctrl p to parent them and select bone and after that select this the curve and parent it, it to the top bone press ctrl p and bone now you should have something like this if you move the top bone you move the whole track and if you move the bottom bone on the y-axis you roll the track so if you want to animate it just use, use those two bones and there we go but don't worry about the the cube right here because it will not show the render so to show this let's put the track on the center and render and there we go the whole track so I hope you like it and see you next time thank you